In the last lesson, we talked a little bit about how you can design for nulls in your database schema. And one of the problems with nulls is that you need to work around them in your code. And that's what we're about to talk about now. A friend of mine, Phil, has this saying that null will suck the life out of any variable. And just to demonstrate how that works, selecting 1 plus null returns null. Null is unknown. 1 plus null, we don't know what it is. The answer is also going to be null or unknown. And there are several ramifications of the fact that null is unknown. For example, here we will use the case expression, which we just saw in the last topic, to test for null. So we're going to say when null is equal to null, using the Boolean form of case, then return true, else return false. And does equal null work? The answer is no. Equal null does not work. However, SQL has this comparison operator called is. You can test for something if it is null. And if we test this, is null does come back and say true. We can test that null is set to null by looking at null. This is a lowercase, so we can say null, and then here's the is null, all uppercase, because that's the actual test, the actual operator. Setting that is true. To show you how this can be used in a WHERE clause, in the customer table, jumping over to CHA database and looking at the customer table, most of the customers have a null in the nickname, except a few actually have a nickname in there. So if we want to find everybody without a nickname and looking for those nulls, we cannot say equals null. We're not going to find anybody. And I'm just going to control Z to undo that change, put the is back in. If we look for those that where it is nickname is null, we then find all those with the nulls. And a corollary to is null is is not null, which finds all those where there is an actual value. So if you want to say, show me from customers every first, last nickname where there is a nickname, this is how we do it in working with nulls. As far as working with nulls also, there's another scalar function that works specifically with nulls called coalesce. Coalesce comes from the French term meaning to pull together and combine them together. I'm not sure why coalesce was used to describe this because the way it actually works is that it goes through the listing of expressions, common delimited expressions. You can put as many here as you want. It's probably some limit, but I've never ran into it. And the first one that comes to, which is not null, is returned. So it's really not coalesce of let's all come together and we're greater as a group or something like that. It's really the first one that's valid wins. It's more of a Darwinian type function than a coalesce function, if you ask me. So to test this out, this coalesce function will look at the null, that evaluates as a null. 1 plus null evaluates as a null. 1 plus 2, aha, 1 that's not a null. This will be returned. F5, sure enough, there's our 3, and that's the coalesce function. 